hi loves welcome back to my channel here is another acrylic video today we're going to be doing a full set and as always i'm starting out with my cuticle prep i'm using my little ball bit um, and going from left to right just to remove any cuticle on the nail bed and kind of pushing it back a little bit Now I'm just going in with my fine sanding band and I'm just going to remove any shine from the natural nail bed and remove any cuticle that may have been left behind and just smoothing out the nail plate getting ready for our tips in our application. So today I will be using the On Acrylics Taper Square Nail Tips. I really like these tips. It doesn't have the C-curve, so it's perfect. And I'm going with my um, KDS glue as always. I do link the KDS glue from Amazon for you guys down below. So if you guys like this glue, this is where I get it from. Now I am going in with my adjustable tip cutter and I love this tool because I like using it on my like medium lengths, medium short clients because it cuts all the tips perfectly to the same length. Now I will say it does not work for every single person as well. Some clients may have some nail beds that are bigger than others like one nail bed might be bigger than the other nail bed and like the proportion to like the tip of that will be different so you just have to keep an eye out to see if most of their nail beds are even then you can go in with this tool and then i'm just shaping it up pre-shaping it doesn't have to be super perfect just making sure everything's nice and neat for my acrylic application
Now I'm going back in with my fine sanding band and I'm just going to make the tip flush with the natural nail. I like to do this step because sometimes when you lay acrylic down and the tip isn't flush to the nail bed, it can seep through the acrylic color and you can see it and it's very ugly. Um, just do this step, save yourself some stress and it'll just turn out real bomb. So now I am going in with my dehydrator that I get from a local nail supply store. If you have a local nail supply store near you, you can just grab a dehydrator that they sell there. Um, or you can use acetone. As long as it dehydrates the nail plate, you're good to go. And then I'm going in with my Young Nails Protein Bond. This is my absolute favorite. Um, I wish they sold it in a bigger size because if y'all know this little bottle, I'd be running through it quick, okay? And then today we are going in with the color Cover Pink um, that I also get from a local nail supply store. And I'm also using my Not Polished Low Odor EMA Monomer. Um, I believe the acrylic colors that you can find that it's similar to this may be the Young Nails Cover Pink as well. Or I believe it's called Valentino Bad and Bougie. Um, very similar colors to this color. But I just grab the one from the local nail supply store because they sell it in like a big tub so i can buy it in bulk and i absolutely love their formula and color um but you know trying to save a buck here if you guys can always buy wholesale products um especially if you use it a lot because if you buy a little itty bitty products it's just gonna waste your money over time So I do go in with a two bead method. I like to place my bead right above the tip and then um, my second bead at the cuticle. I've been doing this for a while. I used to do just the one bead method, but I just find like it looks so much nicer doing the two bead.
Now I'm going in with my 100 100 grit nail file and I'm just going to sharpen up this shape. We are doing kind of a taper square slight coffin, very slight um, shape because she likes it just a little bit more tapered and we're just going to get it nice and crisp. Now I'm going in with my Panna um, Small Carbide Bit just to seal the cuticles, making sure everything is nice and flush and clean around that cuticle area, making sure there is no acrylic stuck on the skin because this will cause lifting. We're going to just make it nice, round, and um, very flush to the natural nail bed.
Now I'm going back in with my fine sanding bit and I am just sharpening up the shape just a little bit and cleaning the side walls and just smoothing out the nail, um, making sure there's no humps and bumps. I just want everything to look nice and natural. So as you guys can see, we're doing kind of a thermal nail design today, and I'm going in with the color D&D 762. It's called Midnight Sapphire, and this blue is so beautiful. Um, I prefer to use gel polish over acrylic color sometimes because it just um, is easier for them to come back and get fills. And I do a lot of hand-drawn designs, so like doing acrylic colors, um, it's just like, it can be a little bit harder, especially when it comes time for fills. But um, a lot of people have been asking me, like, how do I get my gel polish not to pull at the end of the tip? But I just go in with very, very thin coats, especially at the tip. I make sure I brush it all the way completely out. Um, don't want any type of thickness at the tip because then it's, it will start pulling at the tip and it'll look like a bubbly glob. Um, gel polish sometimes can change the shape of the nail so just make sure you wipe the sidewalls wipe the tip you don't want to wipe it to where like the acrylic color shows just kind of like make like underneath the nail basically
So first color I'm going in with is this nice green that I mix. I believe I used D&D &D 568, um, that little light green that they have, and I mixed it with D&D, &D, I don't know, I'll list it down below, but and I also mixed it with a little bit of white just to make it kind of vibrant and light at the same time. But we're just going to go in and make these little globs. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, just whatever you feel like doing. I was just going with the flow. The next color that we're going to go in with, we're just going to go right on top of the green, kind of just leaving some of the green showing. Um, this fluorescent yellow that I mixed, I mix a lot of my colors, so sometimes it's really hard for me to give you guys an exact color. Um, sometimes I don't have a color, so I have to make it. But we're just going to go right on top and layer it. You want to kind of do thin coats. Um, I noticed I was doing a little thick coats and it was getting real chunky. But next time I will know to do it a lot thinner. But yes, we're just going to go right on top of that green. now we are going to go in with our orange color and these last two colors really brought the look together and same thing with the yellow just gonna sh um, show a little bit of yellow just gonna put a little bit and it kind of looks like um the weather like on the news channel when they're showing you like if there's a storm or hurricane but it's supposed to be thermal but either way they were both super cute
and then we're going to go in with some red and just add a little touch and it really brought this whole look together i do go in with one more color at the end which will be blue but just look how cute that looks on top of that um, midnight blue color it's so cute All right, so the last color we're going to go in with is this blue. I mixed the same midnight blue with a lighter blue, and then I made this color, and we're just going to go around some of them, not all of them. Um, in the inspo picture, there was only some that was blue, and it totally, like, made the look perfect. All right, so my client wanted this target on one of the nails, and it wasn't in the inspo picture, but I thought it was so badass. Like, it was so cute. So an easy way for me to do this was make a cross around the around the nail sorry across on the nail and then just connect one line to each other and then just kind of do it in a round shape and that was super that was super easy guys that was it and then i did two circles like that so one on the inner and then one on the outer and then i just went in and put a dot in the middle so it looks like a target and it was so cute i loved it so much As always, I'm going in with my Koopa top coat, my absolute favorite. We're just going to do nice thin strokes. And at the end, make sure you wipe your sidewalls and your tips so it's not super bulky. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. My client always comes in with some different nail sets, and I love her for that. But if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications to know when I post next, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.